how are you enjoying Comic Con so far? It's amazing. Yeah. This is yeah. uh, your tenth. My tenth. Yeah, I'm. I'm a Comic Con veteran. <laughs> this is only my third Comic Con, but um, I love San Diego Comic Con because it's so much. You get to interact with the fans so much more, so you get to really like see the impact of the show. Um, which is kind of like a nice little motivation for going into season two. We're on a ship, right? Yes. I know. There are so <laughs> many uh, ships on this show. There's nice segue. Hope, <laughs> right? nice segue. Segue. Hope and Josie uh, had a little... <laughs> Stop. Okay. Hope and Josie had a little moment in the alternate universe you got to see, um, which definitely explored Hope's sexuality a little bit. Um, and I think maybe in this season, now that Hope and Landon are separated for obvious reasons, you might get to see a little more of Hope's sexuality being explored, um, with different love interests and whatnot. Perhaps, maybe ever so slightly. Yeah. Why? Why is that important? Do you think to viewers who might be watching, like to have? Because you don't really see that. Yeah, you don't really see the female protagonist of a show. Uh, sexually fluid, which I think is something really rewarding and she doesn't have to explain herself. Like no no one in the show really has to explain themselves in any way about who they are or, you know, what they want to do. And uh, I think that's really refreshing and just kind of a world that we all want to live in, you know? Yeah. And in season one, um, Hope was uh, sacrificed, I guess you could say, right? Mm -hmm. uh, how does that happen going forward? Like how, what changes the dynamic of the show? Is she coming back? Are there flashbacks? Do we no longer see Hope? Yeah, I, I think that you'll see actually some flashbacks. I can, you know, tease a little bit of that. But uh, yeah, the, the entire show's dynamic has completely changed. Everything's changed. You know, it, it's a world without Hope. Um, and you'll definitely see that explored. But when you put Hope back in the picture, how will it, you know, play out? It's not like it's just going to go back to normal. You know, everything's different now. Right. And uh, Matt, the lyrics? Uh, position at the school has kind of been left in the air. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about that. Well, we pick up in season two. Alaric's no longer the headmaster at the Salvatore school. He's sort of in between jobs. He's uh, He's been on hiatus mode, so uh, I got a phone Who call. They're like, yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, I got a call. They're like, grow out the beard. I was like, all right, cool. So Alaric's rolling in with the beard. Um, he may get a new job as a principal at a new school. <laughs> Perhaps, you know, so we'll, we'll kind of pick pick up where that is with him, so in between. And tell me a little bit about the transition between, like, uh, your Vampire Diaries days to now being headmaster of this school. Yeah. Uh, yeah it's it's bizarre. I mean, it's been, it's been a, it's, it's a surreal experience to play a character this long and to go through all the different generations of these different uh, spin-offs and the remaining within the world of the Vampire Diaries. It's been... A blessing, and I just I keep pinch, pinching myself, but it does fly by. I can't believe how long I've, I've been down it. It's always a pleasure. Yeah, tell me about the fans here at Comic Con. What are they like? Great, great. They're yeah. great. They They're really are. They're super so respectful, very, passionate. Yeah, very the passionate. The best questions always come from the San Diego Comic Con panel, uh, so it, it's always a pleasure to, to connect with everybody and, and you know just enjoy yeah. the whole sort of experience. So now help me understand this a little bit with Malahor. Is he? Is he dead um, or did you keep him from rising are we going to see another big bad wolf in season two um i think without malivore the whole big bad of the show is completely malivore you know, is gone. still in existence malivore is still in I existence i think the monsters are still still tracking the school they're still coming for us so we're, we're still in that 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 dynamic for sure it's different though you know it they're coming after you know us for a different reason now and so uh, like I said, literally everything has changed, even with the big bad, so you'll see how that progresses as well. And is there any chance of seeing Caroline Forbes or any of the members of the Hope family? Maybe. <laughs> it's up to them, really. Maybe. Um, I, I'd love to see some members of the family. Yeah, Every now great. and again, but I, I really enjoy how Legacies, you know, includes its little Easter eggs, but it, it remains very independent and it has its own identity and um, explores something new and fresh, which I think is really important to keep up. And Julie Plank hinted that bringing uh, Hope back would mean bringing, might mean bringing Clark back. Oh, mm -hmm. did she say that? She hinted at it. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's Hope, there's Clark, isn't there? Uh, I mean, sort of. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You are kind of joined at the Malivore hip, so to speak. I mean, yeah, but when you go into Malivore, you're in total isolation. You're not with anyone. So if Clark is with Hope, then something's different in Malibu. Mm, very interesting. Interesting. <laughs> and Alaric, the poor guy, just has been through so much. Yes. Is he ever going to find love? 